You should know by now how to identify the two main approaches for graphic design work, free form and grid. The two are easily separated as they come with different histories, styles, and purposes. From the ancient delicate strokes of Asian calligraphy that eventually led to flowing lines evident in Art Nouveau and the more determined curved structures of Art Deco, later, as artists embraced the free more than the form in the approach, styles such as data, pop art, punk, new wave, and hip hop employed design elements that produced dynamic, self referencing works. On the other hand, artists who are inspired by the grid approaches of De Stiel and Bauhaus are careful in their placement of elements so that the overall effect is an organized if a bit conservative arrangement of graphic elements. Perhaps the one term that differentiates the two graphic design approaches more than any other might be alignment. Free form artists, although mindful of how each element relates to others for a print or screen presentation, are not quite as concerned as those who use the grid approach and purposely align the parts of a design along invisible horizontal and vertical lines. The grid approach can be seen in formal portraits such as that of Napoleon who stands erect despite the early morning hour of his supposed sitting, architectural columns that are straight and secure as the typographical families that inspired them, and newspaper columns with justified edges that evoke memories of the first printed book, Gutenberg's Bible, and in architecture shown in figure 11.5, in which an alignment of carefully placed wall squares and windows in the background contrasts purposely with a 1920s bungalow in the front. This Long Beach, California house, an architectural landmark, is a combination of a traditional front porch that is the entryway into a modern loft-style three-level single-family home. With its bright colors, stair-stacked front panels, and old and new clashing styles. No wonder it has three nicknames, the Painted Lady, the Lego House, and the Collision House. But since the renovation is inspired by the grid approach of Bauhaus, perhaps another fitting nickname should be the Construction House. <laughs>